Hey guys, welcome back for episode two of the CGT podcast. What is up there, big guy? Nothing much is going on, Tom. We're running out of time to play here. I know. Speaking of, uh, scout a couple more courses for next season and then uh, call it a day for a little bit. I was just going to ask, did you play uh, at all last weekend? I did not get a chance to play. Yeah, I was there. Was yeah, good. a little rough. Yeah. Yeah. I do, uh, had, to, had to do some family time. I hear that. Are you getting out this weekend? I would like to try to get out. Sunday looks bad. Saturday, True. Saturday looks good. So we'll see. I'm not sure, though. You know what? A Saturday, like, twilight would be awesome because it'll be – obviously the warmest yeah and it's only supposed to be like 55 right so i could see like a twilight saturday being awesome yeah with the sun out and mm -hmm. right you know probably being like a hoodie there you go yeah uh big hoodie guy playing golf no not really no um i i'm not opposed to it by any means like i i could see i just don't i guess i just don't have like a I think I have two golf hoodies that are like legit, well, golf branded hoodies, but like I don't have like a legitimate like Under Armour golf hoodie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think there's two different categories for that. Like a like a playing golf hoodie, I don't have. You know what I mean? Yeah, really diving down into these golf hoodies, huh? I mean, I, I like a good hoodie. <laughs> um. <laughs> But no, I, I kind of dig it. I think uh, it's a cool look. It looks comfy, obviously, but. Uh, you played it all this weekend? Yeah, I played, well, this weekend or last weekend? Oh, last weekend. Did you play last weekend? Oh, I played last weekend. Played a gem. Ooh, and where'd you end up playing? At the Whitetail Ridge. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. a little scout session. Um, it was unbelievable. Super... Super uh, playable, challenging. Greens are awesome, affordable. Dude, it was it was probably like an eight seven out of a ten. Really? Was it yeah. was it a long course? Uh, it could be. Yeah. We so we teed off at literally seven oh three, and sunrise was at like seven oh one. And it was cold. It was probably like, you know, high 40s. Um, it was windy. So our options were either like 6,800 or like 6,200. And, you know, playing it for the first time, I didn't, you know, I kind of wanted to see the course. Yeah. So we played, yeah. So we played from 62. Um, it's, it's tough, though. Although, you know, uh, well, Danny McGrail shot 74. And he's like, oh, a, nice. Yeah, he's, he's like a six. Good player. How'd you uh, play? Not good. No. <laughs> no. I think like 85. Um, and we got pounded in, in scotch. For oh, like, a little side like, action. There you go. Yeah. Luckily, we were only playing 50 cents a point. Otherwise, it would have been a rough day. Um, I think we lost by like 100. 108 points. Yeah. So rough. Got, well, I mean, credit to him, Danny. He, I think he, he had four, three birdies on the back and three out of the five holes that they umbrella us on was pressed, rolled. Um, so he played really good on the back. Um, but yeah, I didn't play well. But had a great time. Um, clubhouse is awesome. Ridiculous uh, little bar inside. And then the outdoor space is super cool. Like that would be a place to grab, you know, lunch afterwards. Yeah. Uh, outdoor patio with a huge, huge overhang, stack stone, fireplace, uh, big fireplace guy. Big fireplace uh, guy. Big fireplace guy. Um, but no, it was the course itself was awesome. I guess the bigger question is, are we adding it to the tour? Yeah. I'm like 95% sure. 
It's super good. Um, there you go. That's yeah, exciting yeah. to hear. Yeah, yeah. Um, with that, so to, to your question, that brings up a, another good point. You're not going to be happy about it, though. Southside's oh. taken back Heritage Bluffs. What? You can't right. do that. Hey. You cannot do that. Dude, you guys are getting um, – it's my hidden gem. That's my – I walk for $17 hidden gem and have a great time. I know, but we're – the South – you guys have a ton of courses, man. The South, we're very limited. And even, like, Heritage Bluffs is a little bit west, and then even Whitesaw Ridge is, like, northwest of us. So – I. I'm trying to figure it out. We'll, right. we'll, you'll be all right. We'll work. We'll work on it. We'll work yeah. on it. I get it. Speaking of, have you played Randall Oaks? I have not. Have you heard about it? I have not. Where would that be? That's near you. The other one is um, the other probable that I'm I'm trying to get to in the next like two weeks is Blackstone, but that's way yeah. Not way up there, but it's it's far. Um, and then you guys have, I think, two more that I'm looking at to add. But I mean, your your guys' schedule is ridiculous, anyways. Very true. So I did I did good. enjoy ninety nine percent of the courses we played this year. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I figured you weren't going to be happy with that news. Um, it's a little disappointing. Yeah, but uh, no, but with the uh, with the cross of testing, I might still be able to play it point there you go good point i don't know if you let the cat out of the bag but good point i thought we talked about that yeah i think we no oh, yeah i yeah. mentioned it yeah. uh i mentioned it at the championships never mind yeah all right we're covered well, to the masses i should say well, it's okay if we let one or two things slip once in a while yeah that's true uh well that's good yeah white tail ridge is awesome um uh, do you watch any of the golf on um, Sunday? I caught I caught the uh, back nine. Yeah, no shit. That's Sunday. <laughs> there was no front nine. Right. What what was up with that? Obviously, it has to be with the contracts and the TV rights. That was kind of ridiculous, mm-hmm. though. When you had two the the final pairing that we had with Ricky and Rory, I mean, a couple things. Can you imagine what would happen if? They only showed half of the Bears Packers game. I mean, that's a fair point. Like in terms of betting, in terms of just like viewership, like shit would hit the fan. Like why? Why is nobody like? Is it? Does it have to do with just strictly sponsorship and, and money? And that's oh, I'm it? sure it's all. I'm sure it's all the money and the TV rights, which sucks, yeah, like, but. I just don't get how that's not like set in stone already. Right. I mean, I don't want to be watching a champions tour to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it. It's something, something to watch. I kind of get a kick out of it, but I, I'd rather watch. Yeah. I'd rather watch the CJ cup, but it was good. It was good to see Ricky back. Dude. It's great for the game. Uh, this, this might be a little bit foreshadowing. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but. I think I think not so much career wise, but like likeliness and like what he'll do for the game after he's gone. I'm gonna compare him to Arnold Palmer. I don't know what you think about that. I don't hate it. I kind of agree with that. That a strap. I mean, if you're talking, if you're talking outside of just wins yeah. and everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grow, growing the game and right. you know, yeah, I don't disagree with that. Is that a big stretch or no? Nah. I, I, I don't know. I'd like to see him, obviously, and I'm sure you feel the same way. I'd like to see him win some more, you know? A thousand percent. But, yeah. like, in terms of his likability, and I feel like he's a very, like, go-to guy in, you know, on tour. I think he's trusted and very well-liked. And, sure. uh, you know, I think he's, like, kind of turning that corner to where, like, 
he's for as young as he is, I feel like he's almost like a mentor to a lot of those younger guys. Yeah. Uh, Fair point. I do. After seeing him play though this weekend, it was, like I said, it was, it was enjoyable to see some good golf from him and kind of hopefully just like speed last year, you know, turns it around for him this season. Well, yeah, but Rory, Rory also played, you know, pretty well on, uh, on Sunday. That guy was throwing darts. He was making putts. That's when Rory's scary. He was also smashing balls. Oh yeah. That three wood, just three wood. It was fun. I mean, uh, obviously when Rory wins, it's never really a bad thing ever. Oh, right. Uh, just so likable, you know, even just his, his like post game pressers. He's just a likable guy. He's very candid, very transparent. Uh, oh yeah. You know, I'm a big, big Rory guy. Big Rory guy. Big Rory guy. Are you? you yeah. I like him. I don't, I think you're, I like, he's very honest. He tells it how it is. And... Oh, do you like, do you like Rory or Westy, <laughs> or Westy more? I knew that was coming. Rob's a big, Rob's a big Westy. Big Westy guy. guy. I'm a big Westy guy. What, what's up with that, by the way? I don't know. Just growing up with that. Really? Growing really? up with him. I mean, he's a, he's a bigger guy. I'm a bigger guy. Okay. You know, he's a pin guy. I, I, I love you know, my, my favorite set of irons are my ping ISIs, and I wish I never got rid of them. Big guys unite. Big guys unite. Got to stick right. together, man. All right. Westy. Yeah. Shout out, Westy. Mm-hmm. We should probably uh, talk a little bit about what you and I are going through right now in terms of a little off-season um, lesson through Shoe Motion Golf, which is our latest uh, partner. Um, Tim and Matt out of Bridgeport. Uh, essentially, they're like a, a virtual golf academy. They're awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, dude, they're so easy to work with, and they're super receptive and and quick to send you feedback of anything you send them. Like I was in here, uh, I don't know, Tuesday night, and I'm assuming. Um, Tim got my feedback at like six and he was like, oh, okay. Like, you know, that's his video for the day. And then I sent him like four more. So, <laughs> yeah. So then he just kept sending me feedback. It was awesome. I mean, it's very straightforward. Like everything's very well organized. Um, speaking of, we have that November 10th, um, CGT wide, um, takeaway lesson that we're doing with everybody. Oh, like a, like yeah. a webinar. That's pretty yeah, cool. Essentially it's a webinar. Um, so basically, yeah, it'll be, you know, just a, a giant zoom call with, with everybody and, and Tim and Matt going over the, uh, the takeaway with myself and then everybody else will have the chance to, you know, um, get a quick lesson from Matt and Tim. So that's awesome. Yeah. Super, super pumped about the, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Partnership. You know what else I'm pretty pumped about? What's that? Is your top three? Oh, what is? What I think this one. I think this one. I think this one might stump you a little bit. So really? my top three to you is: what are the top three courses you would like to play that are on the PGA Tour schedule? But you cannot. You can't choose Augusta and Pebble Beach. Obviously, those are the. Those are what everybody would say. I want to hear something different. Can't choose Augusta, huh? Nope. That's off the board. Pebble Beach is off the board. <clears throat> well, that's pretty ridiculous. Oh, I got to make you think a little bit for this one. I mean, this is a really good question. I don't even think Pebble would be on there. Augusta. Augusta would be on there, for sure. Sure. I don't think Pebble would be on there. I've heard... I've heard mixed reviews, but I've also heard Pebble isn't like, I mean, it's a public track. Sure. I'm sure the co- the price doesn't help it either. I'm sure the views are, you know, I'm sure the views make it a hundred times better. Like if you, if you take Pebble and put it like inland, you know, is it the same place? Probably mm-hmm. not, but it's a really good question. Um, 
No Augusta, no Pebble. Off the board. I'd probably go Oakmont, three. Oakmont okay. or like Oakmont or like a Harbor Town. I like Harbor Town. Um, and then number two would probably be PGA National. Okay. It's always a fun track to, to watch. Um, what is it? The Honda Classic that's always there? Yep. A little bear yeah. trap action. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The place always looks ridiculous. Uh, then one I'd go just from like the last couple of years on tour, just hearing guys talk. And then obviously seeing a couple of events there uh, recently is Riviera. Yeah. Good. Just looks, it looks old school, you know, uh, kind of traditional like parkland trees everywhere, yes. but like, of course looks awesome. Yeah. I, I so I had Riviera as my third. Ooh. Yeah. All right. We're on we're on the same uh wavelength here. I have to go uh number two would be I've always enjoyed watching. I like to play uh Beth Page Black. Yeah. Forgot and then the number my number one's kind of gimmicky, but I love Arizona golf and I wouldn't mind trying out uh TBC Scottsdale, but I would still want the stadium seating and everything still up to get Gotta the have experience. Stadium. Yeah. Even if nobody was there to watch, yeah, you know, stadium that would make it. Well, yeah, of course, but yeah, those are my top three. Can hold on? Can you imagine if you played the stadium course and you pulled out and nobody was in there to watch it, besides like who you're playing with? Well, I mean, as long as somebody saw saw it. I mean, if yeah. I was doing myself playing it, yeah, that's 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 things of nightmares. Like, yeah, I don't right. have a hole in one, so I mean, yeah. Okay, so taking what you just said, I just thought of something else. Would you that so waste management absolutely mopped, and you're on that par three, sixteen. Mm -hmm. um, what what do you think the percentages are of you hitting that grade? one i'm skull <laughs> i'm skull off in it straight skull. straight into the straight into the back I into mean, the backstop oh yeah yeah okay a thousand oh, yeah. yeah i mean i might have to wear two gloves so that it doesn't the club doesn't fly out of my hand yeah i mean they should have more of not necessarily like that atmosphere but they should have more stadium holes like that I think it's super cool. I think what would be awesome for like a major is to almost do like like a stadium fairway, like grandstands on both sides of a fairway. That would be insane. I still think it's nuts how close spectators get. Crazy. To, for instance, Rory hitting out of the rough a three wood. Yeah. I mean, obviously they're professionals, but God, just. It, dude, some of the photographers are like in their line. Oh, that one video of, of Tiger always. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. You know which one I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Yep. It's crazy. But I mean, those, I mean, like you said, they're, they're professionals. Uh, exactly. All right. So you got, I mean, you got to start thinking for next week's top three now. Oh, yeah. I think I already I think I have one. Oh, Good okay. I, I would give you a million guesses. You wouldn't be able to, to guess it. <laughs> it's kind of off the it's certainly golf related but it's not what you think it's going to be right. um, like nothing to do with courses or yeah you'll see um, all right we'll save it for next week speaking of next week we have a monster guest oh, i don't I know. even know i'm pumped this, this guy Literally in the last like two years, he's exploded. He probably has no business coming on <laughs> the CGT podcast for episode three. But well, it's, it's nice that he's a local guy. So yeah, well, that's probably the only reason. 
Um, not the only reason, but yeah. we've, we've had a good relationship with uh, Mr. Ryan French, aka Monday Q, aka Monday Qualifier Info. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we've we've known Ryan for like a little over two years now. Super good dude. Uh, we met on Twitter, and basically, like over the last two years, he's helped us out. We've helped him out. You know. Uh, just always had a really good relationship. Uh, Ryan. So for guys that don't know, uh, Ryan, basically what he does is like, he just dives super deep into, uh, developmental tours for, uh, the PGA. So, you know, corn Ferry tour, web challenge, Asian, he's like the guy. Um, uh, he's yeah. an awesome follow on Twitter. Awesome. Awesome. Follow. His wife's hilarious too. Mrs. That's true. Yeah, she's Mrs. good. Mrs. Q always yep. busts Mr. Q's balls. It's hilarious. Oh yeah. Um, but no, he's done a ton for the game at that level, uh, and he's he obviously has worked his ass off and and got you know uh, recognized by a lot of people and um, notably like you know he should have you know he he does a ton of work. Uh, and he's he was honestly he's the only guy doing it, so it wasn't like hard to find him. Once he got this following on Twitter, you know, years back, you know, everybody went to him for all of that news. Right, and nobody's covering it. I mean, um, he does exclusives with guys, you know, sleeping in their cars, um, you know, playing on all these different crazy tours, trying to Monday queue, just living that huge grind of a lifestyle um yeah, so yeah. yeah can't wait to hear his story oh my god the stories are going to be insane it's gonna be great yeah it's all he's awesome too he's such a nice guy and to see what he does outside of the the game to help it grow whether it's helping high school teams or you know just fundraising for you know kids that don't have clubs or yeah apparel it's it's awesome to see how he brings everybody together yeah, so we're we're super excited to have him on uh, next week. So that's going to be huge for us and the uh, CGT podcast following. Um, so stay tuned for episode three next week. Sounds good. Until that, well, we have no fairway, but <laughs> see you in the fairway. See you on the fairway, Tom. <laughs>